In the second last part of this series showing you how to enable deep links in your app, I'm going to show you how to go to a different view controller depending on what was received through the deep link. To do this, first we have to set up a second view controller. So go to the main storyboard of your app, move this out of the way, still need that, and drag another view controller onto the page. From the first, uh, we're going to add a label to this, just so we can tell the difference between the first normal view controller that the app normally opens to and this second view controller. So let's go to the first view controller and control drag a segue from the first view controller to the second view controller, just to show segue. Click on this segue, go to the attributes and make this go to with deep link. So we'll go to this with when we have a deep link. Back in the um, app delegate, we want to go into our um, deep link URL receiving function. Get rid of this row, this line here. We're going to make an if statement. If uh, URL dot hosts host equals uh, content. Now we're going to run this bit of code. So what do we want to do to get to run that segue between those two view controllers? Well, we want to go window and we need a question dot root view controller dot form segue with identifier. First one we want a string. We're going to put the identifier for our segue in there. And for the sender, we can just make that nil. And that's it. Run our app. app. And as you can see, when the app normally loads up, it doesn't perform that segue and we just take it to the home screen. We click the home button, go to Safari, and type in deep link app. And without anything passed in the URL, Again, it just takes us to the home screen, or the blank root screen. And one last time, go to deep, link, app, and we go content. Finally, our app will perform that segue, and we will be taken to the screen with our label. In the next and final video, where I talk about pairing your app to work with deep links. I'll show you how to pass information to that view controller from the deep link URL and of course do stuff with it.